fatigue in our business is probably the number one concern of our entire membership and I would hope that it would be the number one concern of both the public and the companies that we work for. Um, we work under federal legislation. The federal legislation allows that we can work a 16 hour day. 13 hours of that we can be behind the wheel driving. So essentially we are having drivers who are working 16 hours, getting an 8 hour break and then they're back behind the wheel for another 16 hours and that can go on not indefinitely, but it can go on for 14 straight days before the force to take a break. That means that our brothers and sisters, our husbands and wives, our grandmothers, grandfathers, and our children are all being put at risk um, because, drivers, because of driver fatigue. There's been a number of serious collisions in North America, thankfully not many in Canada but primarily in the United States that are directly related to driver fatigue where there's been several fatalities. It's taking driver's lives and it's taking passenger lives. And we're really afraid that that will be the death nail for the over the road industry if this keeps going on. Um, recent studies have shown that driver fatigue in many instances is as dramatic or even more so than the effects of alcohol on the ability to drive. We would like to see the legislation change so that it would be a 14 hour maximum day and 10 hours of driving so that would mean the driver would have 10 hour core rest between each shift. That's more of a normal life. Drivers falling asleep at the wheel. It is bad enough and it's, a, it's an issue in our company that our company has, has forced our drivers to wear what we call a nap zapper. And it's a little piece that hangs over your ear. And when your head goes down like this, a loud piercing noise goes into your ear to wake you up. That's pretty scary. Instead of fixing the problem, it's like giving that an aspirin to somebody with appendicitis. They're not fixing the problem. I think that the primary way to change this is get legislation changed. Currently, over the road buses are, or motor coaches are clumped in the same legislation with transport trucks. Transport trucks don't carry 56 people. We really feel that the legislation needs to be changed to separate the motor coach industry and the truck industry. They have to be two separate things. Have to be. The primary impact is for our customers, the people out on the street. Like I said before, our brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and grandkids and, and grandparents that are going on those buses, you want to know that they're going to arrive at their destination safely and that they're going to have a driver who's well rested and unfatigued behind the wheel where there's no chance of anything happening. Our operators are professional operators. They're very, very good at what they do, but fatigue can kill. We have schedules to keep and we will face the wrath of the company if we, if we do something like that. So it's got to be a legislature. It's got to be a culture change within the industry to be quite honest.